I have a new type of fruit that I have been wanting to test out in the freeze dryer. So today is the day that we're gonna do it. I am sort of recreating one of my past videos. So I will tag here where I freeze dried some canned fruit. I did canned peaches and pears and they turned out so good. So today, let me show you what we are freeze drying. You actually might be proud of me because I got my food pre-frozen onto my trays already. I feel like I've been so busy and terrible at time management lately <laughs> that I haven't been pre-freezing my foods and so my freeze dry runs have been extra long. But today I was on top of things and got it pre-frozen. So let me grab it out of my freezer and show you what we're doing. What I have to freeze dry today is canned pineapple. I've been wanting to try this. I keep getting people asking me if they think canned pineapple would work. As you can see, I did use my harvest dry tray lids for pre-freezing. It's nice because you can stick the lids on top of your food and just stack them straight up and it helps just save room in your freezer. I get these from Harvest Right. Their website is linked below in the video description. You can click there, hit shop and find accessories. You can find these and other accessories for your freeze dryer right there. Here is how they look. All I did with the canned pineapple is I drained them in a strainer in my sink and rinsed them really well to get that syrup that they're packed in off. I laid them out on a towel, kind of like patted them down to dry and then just loaded them on my trays. My four trays here are two Costco size cans of pineapple. I think they're called tidbits, but the little small pieces of pineapple. To get our freeze dryer started, I'm gonna go into customize. I'm resetting. Since I'm pre-frozen, I don't need to do, I'm not gonna do the extra freeze hour and extra dry time. I increase to like six hours. I do this for if it ends in the middle of the night or something. When we wake up, it'll just continue drying your food because a lot of times it needs more dry time anyway. So that's just what I like to do. And then it'll be more ready for when we are up in the morning if that happens. I know I've been complaining a lot about the weather lately, but it's kind of clearing up. So by the end of this video, I am going to take you guys on some sort of Alaskan adventure. It's been a little while since we've gotten to take you guys along. I love just showing the beauty of the state that we live in. I'm near Anchorage, Alaska. If you are new to my channel, and we'd like to take our freeze dried goodies with us when we go out and adventure. We just need the weather to cooperate, but we're getting a little better this week. I just have to wait the 15 minute cool down process before I can load up my trays. And you know it's exciting. I am so close to my 2000 subscriber mark. And as I said before, I am going to do a subscriber giveaway once I reach that goal. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I will get there sooner and then you'll be able to find out when I'm doing that giveaway. It's going to be super fun and I'm just so grateful for all of your support. You guys being here and joining me on my freeze drying channel. I am having so much fun and just love freeze drying and love sharing with you guys the stuff that I do with it. And one more thing before I get my trays loaded up. If you are in the market for a freeze dryer and you want to start joining me in the fun freeze drying game check out my video description below. My affiliate link with Harvest Right is there. When you shop directly from my link, it helps support my channel here. It allows me to continue to do fun giveaways for you guys and to keep creating fun freeze dried videos. So thank you so much when you choose to do that. Y'all are the best and happy freeze drying, happy shopping. There is a new freeze dryer out car called the Harvest Right Pro and it is awesome. The medium freeze dryer that I have has four shelves and four trays. The pro medium size has five, which is awesome. Now, even though I did the pre-freezing on this pineapple, I fully expect it to be a very long freeze drying run. I have freeze dried fresh pineapple in the past and that took a very long time. It was so good though. Like one of my favorite fruits I have freeze dried is the pineapple. It just tastes like candy when you eat it freeze dried. 
I'm hoping for a similar result with these. Once these are done in the freeze dryer, I am gonna show you two different ways that you can use your canned freeze dried pineapple that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So good. Also, are you team pineapple on pizza or no pineapple on pizza? I'm team pineapple on pizza. I absolutely love it, but I know it's kind of a hit or miss thing. It is time for Brooke's trivia corner question of the day. I am being on theme with today's video and our trivia question is about pineapple. What country exports the most pineapple? Any guesses? As always, I will give you the answer at the end of today's video. And I think we need to give the answer at some beautiful Alaskan location. So stay tuned for that. You don't wanna miss it. All right, our pineapples are done in the freeze dryer. They have been going a very long time. I let them go longer than they actually needed. It looks like they went for 41 hours. When I checked on them last night, they would have been done around 10 p.m. But I like my sleep and did not want to stay up late to get these out of the freeze dryer at 10. I just increased my dry time to have it finish drying throughout the night and we're gonna test them. So let's get them out and see how these turned out. The last time I did pineapple, they were so good. I'm hoping these turned out similar. And then once I have them all ready to go, we are gonna make some fun recipes with the freeze dried pineapple. Here is how the pineapple turned out. It definitely seems nice and dry. It looks awesome. I'm super excited about these. Let's talk about packaging these. I am going to use my mason jars, the ones that I have available. I've got two of this size, one of this size. And I'm gonna do one bag in a longer term Mylar bag with oxygen absorbers inside. I usually throw an oxygen absorber in my uh, mason jars too and vacuum seal the top. That helps you get a longer shelf life and the Mylar bags will give you a super long shelf life. So here's everything I got. I got my two, three jars done. I need to take them upstairs to my vacuum sealer still to get an extra tight seal on the lids. And I got two bags for my food storage shelves. I just, I've already heat sealed them with my heat sealer. I just need to label what the contents are. But these I keep on my pantry shelf for easy use just throughout uh, daily life. And these I keep in my food storage. I took my little buddy Wesley to the grocery store with me yesterday to shop for the ingredients that I need for the recipe that I am making with the freeze dried pineapple. I am now going to show you the footage of our grocery shopping trip. And if you can guess, what I am making based on the ingredients that I am purchasing, let me know. It's gonna be, it's kind of random, but I will give you a hint. It is one of my favorite holiday side dishes. I know it's a little early for holiday meals, but I gotta get in the spirit early, okay? Leslie and I are here at Fred Meyer, and wow, can you tell the sun has come out? Today it was raining and super windy all day until this afternoon we got some sunshine oh yeah this guy lost some teeth he's trying to show you he had to get some pulled at the dentist but we are gonna head in and get the ingredients for the surprise recipe that we're making with our freeze-dried pineapple yeah yeah no he's gonna fall What's up? I am back here in my kitchen ready to make our freeze dried pineapple recipe. But first, I think we got to taste it, right? Let's see. Super good. I would eat this totally just as a snack on its own. I know I've probably said it a million times, but freeze dried fruit is the perfect way to bring 
healthy and nutritious foods with you when you are on the go. Whether you're out on a hike, sending your kids to school with their snacks for lunch, work snacks, traveling snacks, camping. It is so nice because it is so light. It weighs hardly anything in your packs or however you're storing them. But then you still have the full, fresh, delicious nutrients of your fruit. This is something I just love. For my recipe, I need about this much pineapple. So I am going to reconstitute this by adding water to the jar and I'm just gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes or so and I'm gonna see how the pineapple is looking. I filled my jar with water. I am just gonna flip it upside down every few minutes so that it's getting an even amount of water on all sides of it and we will then get to using it in our recipe. And I guess I should tell you what I'm actually making. I am making a pineapple jello salad. Isn't this like a must have item on your Thanksgiving meal palette? I think so. It's something I always love. I have never, I don't think I've ever actually made it in my life, but definitely never even eaten it besides Thanksgiving. But I think that's what makes it so just like nostalgic and special is just having that one like special random yummy treat. So I am going to make a pineapple version with my freeze dried pineapple. If this turns out delicious, I am going to volunteer to make this for Thanksgiving this year. Hold me accountable to that. It has been about 10 minutes and let's see how our pineapple is going. The texture looks exactly like how it would have come straight out of the can. And it tastes the same too. It's juicy, delicious, it's worked great. So the recipe that I'm using, I will um, link in my video description below, but it said to use obviously canned pineapple and to drain off the juice and save it. So I am going to use this liquid as my pineapple juice. So I'm just gonna strain it into my measuring cup. And now I'm just adding the pineapple to my cottage cheese and mayo mixture. We're just gonna stir this together. I know this seems so weird, but just go along with me, okay? I am just going to store this in my refrigerator while I get the jello mixture together because the jello is gonna need time to set up also. I have my reserved pineapple juice here. I realize I need a new measuring cup because I can no longer read the markings on here. We are going to be adding um, hot water to the pineapple juice until we reach one cup, which I now can sort of read it. That's to right here. So I'm gonna add the hot water. This smells so good. This is the lime jello. I did the sugar free. You could do regular sugar. You could do any flavor you actually want that you think would taste good with pineapple or whatever fruit you are using. This recipe is so versatile because you could really use anything you want. I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap, put it in my fridge, let it sit for an hour, and then I will meet you back here for the next step. The last step of the recipe, now that this has sat in the fridge for an hour, is to froth this up with a hand mixer and then we're gonna combine everything together and let it have its final sit in the fridge for about four hours. Okay, here is my green pineapple jello salad. I am going to just put the lid on, set it in the fridge, let it set up for about four hours, and then we will have this for dessert tonight and see how it turns out. I am super excited because the sun has finally come out, so we are going to go head on our Alaskan adventure while we wait for the jello to set up, and we will take you along give you the answer to the trivia question, and then we will meet you right back here for our final taste test. We made it to the Mount Baldy Trollhead. I got the whole family in tow. Everybody say hello. Hello. And I mean, check out this gorgeous view. We went up a little higher, and down here you could see that is Fire Lake right there, and then out there is the Cook Inlet that goes out to the ocean. It is like gorgeous and clear right now. This doesn't 
always happen. So we lucked out today. And if you remember what our trivia question was, what country exports the most pineapple? This pineapple might have come from there. I didn't read the can where it was from. So I'm gonna let the kids give us the answer. Costa Rica! I want a lot. Okay. Not four. Hey. Whoops. <laughs> All right, give it a taste. Yum. Does it taste good? Yum. Excellent. It's good, huh? A little crunchy, a little sweet. So there is a hiking trail right up this way. We are not doing the hike today. <laughs> we will save that for another time once we're all like prepped and ready for it. But we just wanted to come check out the awesome views. It is so pretty. We can't waste the sunshine. So <laughs> we were so happy to come out and just see it. Let, let it me is have it. So pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to see a little bit of beautiful Anchorage, Alaska on our little Alaskan adventure today. Let's head home and see if our jello salad is ready. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye. We are back at home and ready to taste our jello salad. My family is watching a movie and ready for a little dessert. So let's see how it looks. Okay, I know it looks weird. I'm liking it. I think it's delicious. If you're a Jello salad fan, I think you will like that recipe. My kids did not like it. I will be honest. <laughs> they said no. I thought it was good. My husband thought it was good. I think I still prefer the classic traditional Jello salad with like the mandarin oranges and stuff like that. But this was a fun new twist and a new way to try it. Let me know if you're gonna try something like this. But it was still <laughs> super fun to make and a yummy, semi-healthy dessert. You got the protein from the cottage cheese, you know. Extra protein's always a good thing. Okay, my friends, that wraps up today's freeze drying video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. You guys are the best and I will catch you on the next freeze drying adventure. And happy Labor Day weekend. If you have any fun plans, let me know in the comments what you're doing. We are not traveling. So I am jealous of all the people who are going on some fun vacations. Let me know about them. Bye.